What's up, board game people? It's the very beginning of a very busy May, and it's time to take a look at what crowdfunding campaigns I have my eye on this month. This is a month that could very easily do some major damage to your wallets, so I'm going to put some light suggestions in about a few that you could wait until retail for. Take it with a grain of salt if you prefer backing, they're just suggestions. Let's start off with a very quick thank you to my Patreon members. Your support means the world to me. And now let's see what this month has headed our way. With the beginning of the month being a Monday, some campaigns already slipped onto Kickstarter and GameFound. Let's cover those first. Astro Knights Eternity has already launched and already funded, but what is it? Astro Knights is a cooperative deck building game in the same vein as the indie board and cards other game, Aeon's End. Your goal is to defeat the boss before it defeats your team and destroys your homeland. Eternity, the new expansion on offer, is set generations in the future where the Astro Knights have faded to myth. But at the edges of the galaxy, a new threat looms. It introduces expeditions to the game, which are mini campaigns where you face bigger and bigger threats as your knights get upgraded with each battle. Astro Knights Eternity is live on Kickstarter now. Check it out for yourselves. This is one that you could probably wait for retail on. There'll be a few promos, but that's about it. Clink, Legacy 2 Acquisitions Incorporated, Darkest Magic is both a mouthful of a title and another entry into the long-running and very well-received Clank series. This is the second Legacy game in the series, and Clink leans into the Legacy aspects hard. By the time you're done playing the game, you have a unique board game playable in two different modes and completely crafted by your actions and decisions. The stickers make a return, but they are also bringing scratch-offs with them. If you hate altering game components, this one will make your skin crawl. Clank Legacy 2 is a new standalone game. No need to have played the first, but all the better if you have. I picked up a copy of the original after some very reliable recommendations, and I can't wait to jump in and play. This is a campaign that you could wait for retail on as well, if you're okay with not getting it first. This will be at retail with all stretch goals being available eventually. Clank Legacy 2 Acquisitions Incorporated Darkest Magic is live on Kickstarter now. Now for my sleeper pick of the month. The Hunters AD 1492 is launched on GameFound. This is the follow-up to the sleeper hit, The Hunters AD 2114. You could be excused for missing the first game, but no excuses this time around. The Hunter series sets you and your friends as hunters who must travel into the wilds and defeat and harvest monsters and highwaymen to upgrade your equipment and your wagon and progress through a complex campaign chocked full of hundreds of events and a multitude of decisions to make and plot twists to unravel. While the gameplay loop is simple, there's surprising depths in its systems, and it'll keep you strategizing and rethinking your every step. The world is dark, gritty, and real. This isn't Medieval Times Dinner and Tournament. That fire imp really wants to burn you just to hear you scream. The Hunter's AD 1492 is live on GameFound now and absolutely worth a look. Jumping to the second week of May, on the 9th, we see Sky Tier Horde monoliths launching on GameFound. This is a standalone expansion for the original Sky Tier Horde, and a reprint of the original. Sky Tier Horde is a lane-based castle defense card battler. You must defend against waves of monsters, survive with your castle intact, and defeat the epic monster leading the Horde. You'll hear this described as Hearthstone with castles and co-op. The original has earned itself a 7.7 .7 on BoardGameGeek, and left plenty of players hungry for more. And it seems it's drawn a good portion of them to return as the new campaign is being followed by just under 4,000 people right now. Sky Tier Horde, Monoliths goes live on May 9th on GameFound. Also on the 9th, we see the relaunch of Leviathan Wilds on Kickstarter. This has gathered a bit of a cult following and I expect to see a strong showing on this campaign. Leviathan Wilds is a game that's delightfully different. Think of a boss battler where the map is the boss. Your adventurers confront colossal beings by climbing and traversing them to access crystals that must be destroyed to defeat the boss. You'd be very close describing this as Shadows of the Colossus, the board game. The game is for 1-4 to four players, played cooperatively, and has a campaign stretching across 20 or more scenarios, each expected to take around 45 minutes. The art is spectacular. The screen printed meeples look perfect on the game board, which is contained in a spiral bound book. Each hero's unique abilities and traversal methods really make this one to take a look at. Check it out on Kickstarter on the 9th. Fast forward almost another week and we start to enter the danger zone. First, on May 16th, we'll see the launch of the board game adaptation of Dead Cells. This is a video game that will fit perfectly into the co-op Metrovania dungeon crawler category. Explore, kill, die, mutate, repeat. 
This is a roguelike game where death is just another evolution on the path to victory. You wake up headless and without a clue what's going on and where you are. You must explore biomes, kill enemies, wander through infested dungeons, mutate and become stronger, die and repeat the process. Go further, deeper into the island to kill bosses and access new starting biomes. Is there an end to the madness? That's for you to find out. This one has some potential, and the prototype seen at conventions looks great. I look forward to finding out more when it launches on the 16th on Kickstarter. Also on the 16th, we see an expansion for Detective City of Angels titled Saints and Sinners launching on Kickstarter. Detective City of Angels is a 1940s crime mystery board game where players take on the role of detectives in using the tools of the time, interrogation, intimidating suspects, concealing evidence, and hiring snitches to thwart the other detectives' investigations. They must solve their case and be the first to do so. Meanwhile, the chisel player attempts to thwart the detectives at every turn. Expansions often add new cases to increase the drama and keep things nice and fresh. Detective City of Angels has been on my wish list for quite some time, and it may be the perfect time to get my hands on a copy. We can all investigate this on the 16th. Then comes the heaviest of hitters when it comes to wallet whomping. Aeon Trespass Odyssey will be returning to Kickstarter on May the 16th with a reprint and gameplay additions. Maybe I'm the only one a bit confused here, so I may not have this spot on right, but it sounds like the reprint campaign will have the 12 Sins of Heracles in tow. They specifically said that there will be new gameplay additions for ATO, but it seems they may have at least the Summer Core box for the 12 Sins of Heracles on offer as well as a new, cheaper entry point to the Aeon Trespass universe. If this is true, this campaign will absolutely destroy any budget I pretend to keep to. For those still on the fence, I'll offer my three-word review. Just. Get. It. I'm loving my time with ATO and can't say enough good things about the first cycle which I'm coming to the end of. We will for sure find out more on the 16th when the campaign goes live. Apex Legends is making its board game debut on the 17th on Kickstarter. Apex Legends the video game is a fast-paced team shooter battle royale with asymmetric heroes all possessing multiple powerful abilities, allowing them to reshape, retcon, and traverse the massive battlefield. Glass Cannon Unplugged is seeking to capture that magic and bring it to the tabletop. You build your squad from the ever-growing cast of characters, place terrain to create unique maps, and go head-to-head -head attempting to outwit, outsmart, and outfight your opponent. Apex Legends drops onto Kickstarter on the 17th. To officially make this month the month of video game adaptations, Steamforge will return to Kickstarter with Monster Hunter World Iceborne. This is the standalone successor to the recently delivered Monster Hunter World. Iceborne brings with it a new icy monster hunting experience, pitting you against new foes who also might get a tad bit territorial. You'll find yourself against not one, but multiple monsters in this edition. Use the additional foes against your opponent, or get smashed between the two and fight for your life. Use the infamous Clutch Claw to get yourself in close range for the kill. Explore arid wastelands and the frozen tundra and craft new gear sets all with unique stats and bonuses. This one has the potential to break the bank. Be warned, it hits Kickstarter on the 18th of May. Finally, to cap off an already crowded month, Lucky Duck Games will be returning with a new card-driven cooperative adventure game, Into the God's Grave, built on their digital hybrid system being used in Destinies and the Dark Quarter. Into God's Grave will go live on Kickstarter on May 23rd and offer what looks to be a pretty familiar look. We'll still have a map, we still have tiny Lucky Duck minis, we still have what looks like a player board and dice. I'd love to see more of the gameplay elements rely on the decks for each hero instead of dice rolls. The potential for this is here, but we'll have to wait until the 23rd to find out. So another incredible month. In fact, this is likely one of the heaviest months of the year. If we take all of our lumps now, perhaps we can recover by the Black Friday rush, right? Let me know in the comments what you're excited about. What are you backing or skipping? And did I miss anything? I do my best to find all the juicy campaigns, but some slip through from time to time. I hope everyone's having a great weekend and staying cool. Things are heating up around here, but it hasn't kept me out of the garage and inching forward on the game table build. Coming up soon, we have an update on the table build, a Phantom Epoch, How to Play, and a first look video for Shadows of the Brimstone's Swamps of Death. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks to everyone watching, commenting, and supporting the channel on Patreon. Talk to you soon, and play something old school this weekend.